Hey everyone, the last time I had glass plates and I tried reverse decoupage and everyone liked them. Today I'm here with some ceramic plates. They're old and have lost all their details with use over time and have chipped off at places as you can see. So since they aren't of much use to me, I thought why not repurpose them. So let's begin. So to start with, I will be painting the plate with chalk paints and I'm going in for an ombre effect with different shades of green and blue. I start with the lightest shade first. Since we have taken three different shades for this ombre, we would be covering around one third of the plate approximately with each colour. Once done with the first, move on to the second shade. Make sure you take a fresh sponge for every new shade. Don't worry about the crisp lines in between the shades for now. Once all the sections have been painted, take the darker of the two shades and start dabbing it along the edge of the lighter shade. Now take the lighter shade and very lightly dab it over the darker shade and just keep running the sponge along the edge a few times over. And there you have it, perfect fuzzy lines for a perfect ombre. Do the same to blend the other shades as well. As this is a small surface, I have used just three shades for the ombre. But if you have a big surface you are working on, you could definitely use more colours. So here's how it turned out. With the lighter shades, make sure the first coat has dried completely. Only then start dabbing over uh, the paint for the second coat. Make sure you have all the print and details covered entirely with paint and that none of them are visible, especially the border because what we will be doing is we will be placing the motif uh, to be decoupaged at the centre of the plate. For the last step, just before you let the plate dry, take a fresh dry sponge and dab it all over the plate to further blend the paint and give it a more fuzzy, dreamy effect. This is the decoupage paper we will be using today and we'll be cutting out only the rose motifs from the paper. Place the cutout onto the plate as you wish to place it. Using some decoupage glue on a flat brush and working on a small area at a time, paste the cutout onto the plate. Make sure you press the motif quite gently but firmly and run your fingers a few times over to remove any air bubbles. Once it has completely dry, take generous amount of decoupage glue and coat the entire cutout with it. So I was thinking of painting the border of the plate with a different colour and since I had a spare plate with me, I have tried on different colours on its border. If you don't have a spare plate, you could even try it on paper. I'm thinking of a gold shade so I've tried different gold shades as well as copper and bronze which has a more of an antique effect. So I've tried all the different colours. What you could do is you could hold the plate against the border and see how and which one would look good. The reason why I've done this is because if you paint on a certain colour and you're unhappy with it, it's very difficult to recreate or patch up an ombre effect. Sorry to have used a different plate earlier, so that is the colour I have selected and you have to take a sponge that isn't too big 
what you could also do is you could snip off the edges to make the circumference smaller so you don't get the paint all over the plate dip your sponge into the paint dab it a few times to give it an even coverage make sure there's no excess paint on the sponge but it has the entire area covered with paint this is how it should look if you think it's excess just dab it and hold it perpendicular to the plate and start going in and out just very gently dabbing it making sure you get a consistent border Lastly coat the entire plate with a thick coat of water based wood varnish. 